in the next few hours. And I am not talking of romantic dead. Actually dead. I might die right in front of your eyes. Once a mendicant told me. spending a night awake. I was wrong. Perhaps death makes one sleepy. But every night this month, I've been dozing off before even being aware of it. I am convinced I am seeing something with these eyes, only to wake up and find I was dreaming. Well, tonight is my last night, but tonight is the last night of this month even of my life perhaps, for how do I know that sleep won't creep in on me again as it has done every night so far? I may doze off right in front of you, and that will be the end of me. I asked the mendicant, what have I done to deserve this fate? And he said, you have it to blaze, you have staged them, you have caused so many good people who came trusting you to fall asleep, twisted in miserable chairs, so all that abuse must have sleep has turned against you and become the cause of death! the last night, so I have fled from home and come to this temple, nameless and empty. Oh, for years I've been lording it over my family as a writer. I couldn't bring myself to die a writer's death in front of them. Oh, oh. I swear, by this house of God, if I survive this night, I shall have nothing more to do with themes or plots or stories. Oh, I am or play acting or storytelling. Anyway, so they had to retire to bed early, and I was. 
about your friend, the kerosene flame. <laughs> she hasn't been seen here for months. She is one of the first tonight. <laughs> are put out in the village, the flames gather in some remote place and spend the night together gossiping. Oh, oh so here is where they gather. What are you sniffing? What's that smell? Oh, will someone tell me what's going on? Yes, we are ready. And the flames? You ready? Yes! 
story. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Uh, audience, are you ready? Yes. yes. We ready. And begin. A young girl. Her name? It doesn't matter. But she was an only child, so her parents called her Ronnie. Queen. Queen of the whole wide world. Queen of the long tresses. But when her hair was tied up into a knot, it was as though a black king cobra lay curled on the nape of her neck, coil upon glistening coil. When it hung loose, her tresses flowed, a torrent of black along her young limbs, and got entangled in the silver anklets. Her fond father found her a suitable husband. Uh, me? No. <laughs> the young man was rich, and both his parents were dead. <laughs> so Ronnie continued to live with her parents until she reached womanhood. Yes, that's right! 